A dangerous and deadly morning for drivers across the valley this morning. Three really bad crashes affecting the local freeways and really span from west to east. The crash affecting uh, people trying to get to work and trying to get around. The I-10 actually shut down for hours. Let's take a look at the first crash. This one happened 43rd Avenue and Roosevelt south of the I-10. A Nissan Altima slamming into the back of a semi. Two people were in the car. A man died at the scene. A woman was taken to the hospital in extremely critical condition. Now we're going to move a little further to the east and two trucks involved in this crash. This one at I-10 and Baseline. Take a look here. I'm sorry. Yeah, the U.S. 60 in Kyrene. Firefighters had to pull one man from the red truck, which had caught fire. The crash was in the eastbound lanes. There's no word on the victim's condition there. And not too far from there, just a little bit further off a little bit further off to the east, a deadly crash on the I-10 and baseline. That crash was in the eastbound lane. Sky Fox capturing the massive traffic jam. The freeway, a parking lot for the better part of the morning. Our Andrew Hasbin has more on this story. Investigators had to land a helicopter on the freeway. They're going to go back up and take pictures of the accident scene. DPS tells us this all may have been caused by a speeding driver. Around 5.15 this morning, a car was headed eastbound on I-10 when the driver lost control and slammed into the median. DPS says that driver was traveling at a high rate of speed. The accident sent four people to the hospital. In addition to that, one other person died here at the scene. DPS tells us that victim is a woman in her 20s. She was in the rear passenger seat of the speeding vehicle. One other car was involved in an accident here, and it's not clear if anyone in that car was injured as well. DPS closed the freeway for most of the morning. They say that was necessary to fully investigate this accident. Whenever there's serious injury or death involved with a collision of this magnitude, DPS uh, wants to preserve the evidence, record, document, video, and take photographs, aerial photographs and preserve that evidence in case it needs to be presented to uh, the court at a later time in case it does remain a homicide or if, if this uh, changes to criminal charges stemming from impairment or any other criminal uh, charges or investigation. At this point, DPS says it's too early to rule out impairment. I'm Andrew Hasbun, Fox 10 News. The FBI